rodents so big that you would only be short of putting a saddle on them. Richard Faulkner is a technical field consultant with rent kill and he joins me now. Uh, Richard, you're very welcome. Tell me, how has this pandemic impacted on Ireland's rat population? So it's like it's done with all the other wildlife. It's had a very, in a way, a very positive effect. They've been a lot freer to roam about. There's been a lot less human interaction. We've been a lot less active in the environment and further afield, so they've been able to come out a lot more. But the negative impact it's had because we haven't had restaurants open, we haven't been um, out and about eating our lunches in parks and all that sort of thing that we were doing. So the the food waste that was um, created from that, which was a primary food source for a lot of the rodents in these sort of more urban areas, um, isn't there. So what that's caused them to do is come closer in to look for a food source. Oh, because uh, I'm sure more. I'm sure a lot of people would, would, Richard, would have thought that that sort of food waste, the people dropping their, their takeaway, their, their um, chicken dinners on the street, would have encouraged rats. Yeah, yes, it would have done. And that's the thing, it's not there now. So because it's not there, they're having to come in further to forage. There's, that's why you'll see them during the day. Generally, our rodents, are, especially our common rat, are a nocturnal animal because they're trying to avoid predation. And we're the, sort of their biggest predator. They can see us as a big predator. So if we're not as active, they can become more active. But they're out and more during the day because they're foraging at different times to try and get food because food is more scarce for them at the moment because of this phenomenon. And are there bigger rats, these rats that you, you would need to put a saddle on? Um, I, I, I luckily haven't seen any rats that big. Um, otherwise, I would probably be looking at a new career at this point. Um, no. I think a lot of it is people generally don't have... Um, a percent or have a perception of the size that a rat is. A large common rat's going to be about 500 grams, and that's sort of it. It's the top range in size. Um, so it's probably because they're in closer proximity to them, they seem larger. Um, but yeah, no, they're not getting bigger. And what can people do then to keep rats away from their home? So rats are pretty similar to unwanted um, human guests. They're there for a reason. They want the same things people do. They want the same things we do. They're looking for food, shelter, warmth, and um, also water. So the first thing is going to be looking at the surrounds of your houses, your your gardens, that sort of thing. Cutting back your vegetation because that takes away cover. Making sure that if you've got any fruiting berries and it's a bit early in the season or dropped apples or pears or anything like that, that they're removed. If you've got pets that you feed outside or you keep birds or anything like that, it's making sure that their food and their waste is cleaned up and kept away. Um, Keep your bins away from your doors, um, preferably as far away from your doors as possible, even at the top end of your garden, because that's an initial track. And because we've got this glorious weather, we've all got doors and windows and stuff open. But if you're outside in your garden, just keep your back door shut because if it's left open, rodents are opportunistic. So there is a chance that they will try and sneak in that way as well. I suspect quite a few people will be rushing to close their doors after hearing this interview, Richard. Uh, have you uh, got more business out of this? Have you had more call-outs um, during the pandemic? The, the thing is, it's sort of, yes, we've, been, we've noticed that we've been quite a lot busier than last year at this time. But again, it's because... Normally, the majority of us wouldn't be at home, we'd be at work. Um, But we're not, we're at home and we're being more observant and we're out in the gardens and we're probably cutting back and tidying and painting and moving stuff that hasn't been moved for a long time and disturbing the rodents that are out there. So we're seeing them. So yeah, it's had a knock-on effect. We've been very busy, especially domestically, yes. And and has the COVID-19 restrictions had an impact on how you go about your work then? Um... probably with us a lot less than other people Um, the social distancing element of it yes that is but generally you'll find when we go to a site people generally because they associate us with what we do they try and avoid us anyway but um, when you're looking at we use disinfection um, because of the nature of what we're doing we're very aware of animal borne diseases so we wear gloves as standard anyway Um, face coverings would be a new thing 
um, except if we were doing insecticidal treatment and stuff like that, then we'd be wearing masks. Um, and the social distancing and the way we sign in and move into buildings would be slightly different. Um, and like I've been out to a plant today just to do an audit and I had to um, have my temperature taken before I was let in. So slight, slight different things, but overall it's probably not affected us as much as it would a lot of other businesses. No, because of course you would have been uh, wearing PPE before a lot of us yes. even uh, ha had that word tripping yes. from our tongues. Uh, Richard Faulkner, many thanks for joining us with that and good luck with the um, your fine work on rats. And there we take a break.